Hello everybody. Today's video is just a kind of an update really on um, what I've been doing for the last three weeks, which is I finally took the plunge and I've been developing my own film at home. So uh, I got chatting to somebody, uh, another photographer, uh, a film photographer, and he has some really incredible photos and I'll put in the link his Instagram account, but um, he kind of gave me the nudge really uh, to develop black and white film at home like he's doing and I saw these great photos that he's developing and I thought I'm going to do it going to give it a go how hard can it be and once I started that was it I was hooked um, and just in the last three weeks these are all the negatives I've developed mostly just at the weekends uh, sort of go out of the weekend shoot roll a film develop it that that, that same day which is just kind of quite um a revelation from sending film off and having to wait a week for it to come back you know just being able to shoot your own film develop it the same day as you can see i have gone through some of my supply of film i even started just this weekend just gone shooting medium format so i've done three rolls of medium format. So that's where I kind of got up to. So I thought what I'd do is share, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this in one video, but I'll sort of share what I did to get started and um, the sort of steps and a few tips and things. And this might end up going into kind of a series of videos. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a video where, where I actually film myself mixing all the chemicals and everything else like that. There are other videos you can watch for that that other people have done that are probably better than I could do. But um, I'll go through the kind of basic steps in this video and some sort of tips on how to load film onto the reels and those sorts of things. Um, so the first thing is you need to order a set if you're going to start um, doing your own uh, developing at home. Color development um, is completely doable it's uh but the chemicals are a bit harsher apparently um i have actually since ordered myself a color development set and you get uh, six bottles of chemicals there's a bit more work you have to keep the temperatures at a certain a uh, bit more controlled so black and white is a hell of a lot easier to get started on and um i'm absolutely loving developing my own film black and white film at home so the set i went for was this set here and I'll post a link to them um, this video is not sponsored by them at all in any way it was just uh, my friend uh, who's been developing his film recommended them and uh, it was a quite reasonable price as well and uh, unlike a lot of the sets on eBay uh, when you look on eBay for film developing sets they kind of come with a lot of the equipment but not the chemicals um, or, and that, to be honest, I haven't found a, a single set that contains absolutely everything you need. So you just kind of have to pick what you think will work for you and then buy the bits that you're missing because you're not going to get it all in one set, I don't think. Um, so this was the set I went with. And the reason why was because it was recommended to me. It was a good price. But it also it contained um, the three main chemicals that I needed and uh, a proper Patterson tank, which... Um, looks like this and you know though you can get other tanks you don't have to use a Patterson tank but the Patterson tanks are kind of um, considered probably the best um, or it's kind of the standard industry name it's like the Ford of motor cars Patterson tank of kind of development tanks if you know what I mean so I sort of thought well yeah I'll get a set with a proper Patterson tank that would be the way to go if I'm going to do this I'll, I'll do it properly so that, um, I got so I was quite I kind of like the idea of that um, they're meant to be really good so I want to give that a go and it came with it comes with the three chemicals so that's the developer which I've actually you can see I've used almost all of that up but that would be full of like a dark liquid um, as pictured there um, and you get some fixer, which is called Adofix. And so basically Adenol is Rodenol, which is the, is black and white developer. Adofix is fixer, but these are all made by Adox, so they put Ad on the front. And then you've got uh, Photoflow, which stops streaking on the film when it's drying, which is, they're called Adaflow. So you get your three chemicals and you get um, some measuring 
equipment, so beakers and things. So you get two beakers, this one and this one. And this one is really handy because in, uh, it's only 25 millilitres, uh, so you can, up to here, so you can measure really exactly uh, the sort of developer that you're going to put in, because you'll probably put in, say, 25 or 50 millilitres, um, whereas it, no, you're putting like 5 millilitres or 10 millilitres of developer, so you want to be able to exactly measure it, which is easier than if you're doing it with... Uh, a bigger jug like this, but this is, um, we'll come to it all, uh, probably another video, but you get you get these, and then you get a thermometer that comes in, uh, a little case like that, and you can keep that safely in there, so it doesn't get broken because it's glass, um, and what I actually found was this was this was a good set. It does say um, on their website it, they don't bring you they don't supply um, a, a changing bag, a dark bag for you to get your film into the tank. So you're going to need to buy one of those. So I bought a, um, a change. I think it was a Patterson uh, changing bag, um, and I bought some clips to hang the film up with. You can buy like proper film ones off. Uh, I did get those off eBay. And I also bought um, one of these off eBay for opening the film canisters. Uh, and I think that was that was essentially the only thing that was missing from the kit, was something to open the film, something to hang up the film, but you could use clothes pegs. Um, but most importantly, really, you need, you need a dark bag to get your film off a canister and into here. Okay. <laughs> so this set got me hooked. I've used up all the developer pretty much. I've used up... Um, most I've used up all the fixer, which um, fixes it once it's developed. Uh, you want you need to fix it so it doesn't keep developing um, after you've done the stop bath. And I've still got some adder flow. I've still got plenty of adder flow left. But the reason why I've got loads of this left is you, with adder flow, you literally put a few drops into water, uh, uh, into quite a lot of water. So that's going to last a very long time. But these two I've since replaced with more developer, more fixer. Um, this is just a small set to get you started, which is, uh, so it's reasonably inexpensive and I'm now hooked. So I've bought bigger bottles of developer and fixer. Um, one of the things I really liked about um, this set is I watched lots of videos on YouTube about how to develop film and kind of making notes and each one was slightly different and it's how you digest information but what I liked was that um, it actually has kind of pictures and you can work your way through and it tells you how to do everything so I can kind of read it and reread it um, and it comes in you get uh, this one and you get one in uh, if you're German <laughs> you get this one in English um, as well and you can and you can kind of work your way through and it tells you what to do um, at each stage and how to measure uh, measure the, measure it and check the temperature and everything. So I kind of read this like over and over like three or four times before I had a go. And I, and I made some sort of short notes on the steps, like step one, do this, step two, do that, um, which I'll go through in the video. Um, but as a set to get you started, uh, I mean, this I think this is from a UK based company. So um, but you can get something similar, I expect. Um, this, this just uh, worked wonderfully for me. Okay, so what I thought I would do though in this video um, is go through how to load film and get it in the dark tank, in the, in the, in the development tank, sorry. Uh, and I, I've got um, some sort of rolls of film to, to sort of do this with to sort of show you um, and to be honest the hardest part of developing film is just picking up that knack for getting the film on the spools once you've worked out how to do that and you've and it's a bit like muscle memory once you've kind of done it a few times it's, it's pretty straightforward once you've got the knack for that the developing is really straightforward uh, and I just made some notes on a piece of paper that said step one, you know, mix up the developer, step two and so on and so on. 
and I just follow that every single time and it works perfectly every single time and I'll go through those steps um, probably at the end of the video quickly or I'll put them up on the screen um, we'll do it in another video maybe because I don't want this to be too long uh, already at 10 minutes so um, okay right so what you do is you have I move this all over let me try and get this out of the way just to show you. So what you have to do is buy a dark bag. I'll and zoom out a bit. So I'll make a bit of space. Basically it looks like a t-shirt. And uh, it's got an arm there and an arm there, like a t-shirt. But there's no there's no neck. It's just here and here, and you put your hands inside, you see, like that, and, and pull them up to the wrist. And one really good tip, take your watch off, because it's a dark bag. So the light from the watch, that will shine inside the bag, that will ruin your film. So take your watch off, anything that's going to light up in the bag. Um, and what you do is, before you put your arms in, put the other end of the dark bag... It's like this, and you pull this apart. I'll see if I can. Like that. And there's a zip here, and you unzip it, and you put everything inside. Then you re-zip it up, and you re-velcro it, and then you then put your hands. In, and you work them inside and you have to do it all uh, by touch inside the bag okay and what you do what you do is you put inside the bag your tank your two re this is for a uh, 35 millimeter okay we'll do it first put your 35 millimeter reels I tend to do it put it all in like this it just slots on like that, goes in like that, that goes in like that, and when it's light tight, it clicks, and that's light tight, okay? But just to get it in the bag, right? Um, and you've got a little thing for twisting it, I just put that in as well. Um, and then you put in your, your roll of film, okay? And the, the lid for your Patterson tank as well, which looks like this, okay? So you basically put this and this inside the bag. Now, with 35mm film, you're going to need one of these to open the canister. If, and now I'm getting a bit more experience with developing film, I'll leave the edge of the film out. So I don't need to crack open the top of the uh, canister with like, like this little sort of beer bottle opener. And I can just pull the film out. And then what I have to have inside the bag, a pair of scissors, to cut it off because uh, then I don't need this bit okay but if the leader for the film is inside the canister um, then I'll use this to take the top of the canister off inside the bag and then I'll get the film out so I'll use my second one here to sort of show you so let's pretend I've I've lifted the top off and I've now got my film inside Okay, and sometimes that'll kind of push out, and so I got my film. This is <laughs> it's written. It's like my practice film. Okay, and sometimes it's actually quite good before you do this in the dark to just have a practice film that you practice on. Um, it it will help a lot. You don't really want to do the first time you you practice this to do it in the dark bag where you can't see. So I'm in the dark bag, and I've I've cracked open my roll of film okay and I've got my film out I can put that in the corner of the bag so I don't kind of put that away into the corner of the bag and I'm doing all this all by feel so I've got my practice film okay it doesn't matter too much if you touch the film you don't you know try and touch it by the edges if you can but it's not the end of the world lots of chemicals are going to be going over it and cleaning it a bit and developing it anyway it's more problematic to touch the film after you developed it to be honest okay so it's going to be curled up like that quite tight so I can put the, get this open, 
which is easy enough to do in the dark bag. And I get get out the spools like this. Okay. And I'll take one off. And I'll take the other one off. Now the film, once we get it on here, it goes on the bottom. It doesn't go on the top. So that'll be on there. And then we'll put the empty one on top. Okay. And it's important to kind of keep them both on. Um, when it goes in the tank so this doesn't move around too much inside here. So I'll take this off like this. Now, yeah, I'll just put the film down for a second to show you. On here, there are, if you work your way around here, you see a bit, there's like a little tooth there that comes out. And you'll see there's another one here. And they need to line up like that. Okay? So they're lined up. But that can move like that. So you need to line them up. And you'll see there's like a little ball bearing there, a little ball, bo little ball bearing there. And so what you have to do is push the film underneath, goes through the groove, the ball bearing catches on it. And once it's caught on it, you basically do kind of keep your, keep your thumbs like that to keep the film in the groove. And you go like that over and over and it pushes the film around the reel. Okay, so I'll show you. So what we do is get the film out of the canister, and uh, so I've cracked the film out of the canister, and I'd put my fingers like that, and I would chop this so it's nice and straight. So be very careful, pair of scissors, and chop that so it's nice and straight. Um, actually, I'll start with the other end of the film if because I, I think I've chopped that end. It was one end has been chopped. I'm going to have to chop the other end, so I think I did a terrible job, but I chopped this one. Um, and I'll feel in the in the darkness of the bag for these. So there are some other grooves here, but they're smaller. So you're feeling for the bigger ones there. And you, it's, you don't want to load it on like that. You need to push it like that and kind of keep it like that. So those two are lined up. And then... I'm going to get the film and feed it through like that, okay? And I tend to, see so it's easier to do when you can see, um, but you don't want to start doing this until you sort of pulled it along a bit and you can feel that it's gone past those ball bearings. So now I can feel that's a, that's a way round, okay? So that's going to probably be all right. And I have to find back with my thumbs the two grooves. There they are. You see, it's already got a bit twisted. So what I tend to do is keep a thumb there and a thumb there, and I'm keeping sort of fingers here to try and stop this curling up like that. I'm trying to, if I can, kind of keep that a little bit away and straight, and then I'll start doing that. You see. So this is why um, you could have a go in the uh, just doing it the first time in the dark bag, um, and it, depending how curled up your film is, it sort of depends how hard this can be sometimes. But you keep going like this, and not don't try and do it too fast. I used to sort of speed through it, and then it would it would you'd find that the film would kind of go like that. And it wouldn't work, and you'd be feeling along oh, what's going on. You find the teeth, and have to sort of in the dark try and get that back in the groove, which is a lot easier when you can see. So it's not like you have to pull it all out and start again. Um, you see, just me showing you that. There we go. But um, you just keep going, you see, like that. Eventually, that's it, it's done, and you can sort of feel around with your finger. Okay, that's all the way around. You do that all in the dark bag. Once you've done that a few times, it gets really easy. The main thing is snip so you've got a flat square edge. You haven't got this kind of bit like that. And then feed it in. Keep your thumbs here because if the film's going to pop out as you're feeding it through, it's going to do it here and here. So you want to feel, keep your thumbs there. If it does, just sort of push it back under. Keep going. Okay, so that's in and you've done it. You've done 35mm film on the reel. And then all you do, feel around in the bag, pop that on, feel around in the bag, pop that on, put that in, get this, 
drop it in, turn it till it clicks. That's now light tight. Okay, that can come out of the bag, but I tend to pop that in, put the lid on. You have to kind of work your way around like this. And then that's it. And you can then uh, unzip the bag, take it out, and that's ready to be developed. Uh, and I'll cover kind of the steps of how I develop uh, film. I'm still learning, so um, there's probably other videos you can watch, but that's how you do 35 millimeter film. Okay. If you're still watching this at 20 minutes, well done. This is how you do 120. Okay, so these, these reels, these Patterson reels, um, I don't know about other tanks, but definitely with the Patterson ones. When you first get them, they're kind of quite stiff, and you think, well, that's it. But uh, if you, and it takes a little bit, of, you have to force it a bit, but if you go like, and you push this one clockwise, it clicks. It comes apart like that. And there's actually, you see these grooves, there's three settings, 35, uh, uh, one, that's 120, and there's that 122, I think, or something. Um, so... You want to do the outer one for 120, which is a bit tricky. There we go. So that's now on the 120. So you see how I did that? So I lined it up, that groove, push that in. That's now 120 film instead of 35. So if I was doing 120 film, I don't actually then need to worry about the second spool. Okay, you only need to put if you're doing 35 millimeter film, you need to have the two spools uh, on there in the tank. So I just need to have that and that. I need to get the um, again all the same in the darkroom bag, and then I need to get 120 film onto here. Okay, so I had a nightmare doing this the first time, and this roll of film was some really lovely photos that got ruined because I could not get this film on this spool. I spent an hour in the darkroom bag trying to do it, couldn't do it. And as soon as I opened the darkroom bag after an hour, it gave up, just could not do it, it wasn't gonna happen. Um, I had to kind of concede and give up. As soon as I opened the darkroom bag and had a look at what was going on, I realized my mistake. So kind of part of my uh, video for doing this is to kind of pass on some tips and don't make the same mistakes I did. So. When you open these up, I've sealed this with a bit of tape, but um, which wouldn't be there. So, no. But normally they'd be, so in the darkroom bag, you'd have this. Now you don't need scissors with 120 film to cut the film from the, from the canister like you do with that. So in that regard, it's easier. All you need is the tank, the spool, the bits and pieces of the tank, and your film. That's it. You don't need one of these. So in some regards, there's less going on in the bag, right? <laughs> okay. So you, you have to sort of feel around, run your nail, unpeel this, okay? And it's a bit tricky because what you what you realise, and it's easier to watch a few videos on this, is this feels like film when you're doing this blind by touch, okay? This does feel like film, so you have to be really careful. I got the backing paper mixed up with the film because I couldn't see which was which and spent an hour trying to load this onto here which it was never going to happen because this isn't the right width okay so you don't want to make that mistake um, the only good thing that came out of that mistake was I then had a practice roll I could practice on 30 40 times with my eyes closed uh, until I could do it so when you're unraveling this, you get to a certain point quite a far way in. You see how far that is in, look there. You get to a certain point and then there's your film. And it has a straight edge. Whereas your backing paper oh, is like that. So you'll always know that's your backing paper because it comes more to a point, okay, it's tapered. This does not, has a straight edge. So you don't even need to cut it to get it on the reel. So what you basically do, I don't worry about touching the film too much, I just peel this back till I feel that film and I check it's got the straight edge, I know I've got the film, okay? And then just keep going, keep going like this, keep going, 
keep going <laughs> and eventually you keep going what you get to is the end now that the backing paper is attached to the spool okay so it might come off might not come off the film is usually this is because this is my test one the film is usually taped to the inside of the backing paper quite firmly but you know this is your film so you basically have to peel this away from the backing paper okay and throw your backing paper into the corner of the changing bag and hope you don't stumble across it again now you then have to peel this off okay and then you've got your film now it's quite tightly curled up more so than 35 millimeter film and that is what makes this a bit trickier to get on the spool not really the size um, if it's, it's more the fact that I found these more tightly wound so as you're trying to wind it onto the spool it's kind of fighting you so you can kind of try and straighten out a bit I won't worry about too much about touching the film you know uh, I've developed three rolls now they've all come out perfectly you couldn't tell that I'd ever touched the film before it got developed so the same as 35 millimeter got your two teeth line them up like that okay you got your 35 I tend to hold it like that in the bag and I'll feed feel where the teeth are and then try and feed that through as soon as I can feel that's under there with my fingers I'll, I'll let go of that and I'll I'll pull it pull this through try and get this through a bit I want to get this round a bit like that because if you don't it can it'll just fall back off so okay I've got that round a bit it's past the ball bearings it's just kind of hooked in I feel my way back along there with my thumb so I feel that those two little teeth poking out okay and uh, I'll check that it's still the film's still under there it's not uh, come loose and then I'll start going like this it starts winding on but this is quite curled up and this actually because I've practiced it with this one about 20 30 times this is not as curled up as it could be um, so what I tend to do is try and keep it down a bit keep keep my thumb there but keep it kind of keep a finger there and a finger there stop it like that and keep going keep loading it on just checking that all the time because that, that can pop out and if it does you can either work try and click it back under there or just take it off and start again go like that keep going there you go and it's on now if you have loads of problems with it i've had loads of problems getting it on in the dark trying to get the film on there the more you're trying it okay it's not great because you're handling the film a lot and you could crease it and you're putting your fingers on it a bit but to be honest the more you're the more times you try and do it in the dark in the dark bag changing bag to some extent the film starts to lose some of its curl so it starts to get easier so hopefully you by kind of keeping keeping like that and your and your thumbs there and there you have to feed it on but that's now on and then pop that through goes in like that same as before click it turn till it clicks that's now light tight pop that in and pop the lid on um, and that's that's essentially it um, that's a change 120 as well I'm um, just explain what this is for um, when you're developing you're supposed to agitate the tank so you poured your chemicals in and then you're going like this every so often okay but if you want to you can just go like this and it's turning inside it's turning the reels this is whichever you prefer i quite like to agitate and then but other times i'm developing and i don't want to and i just turn it like that um, I'll cover in another video how I um, develop film and the steps I follow. Um, but essentially, I picked up this, I read through it, I made notes on what it says to do, kind of four or five steps. Um, and I follow those now and it works every time. But I'll cover that in another video because we're getting on for half an hour. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Post comments, like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and I shall make more. Thank you.